All right, y'all, so I'm about to go get this stem cell treatment in my knees, right? So in both knees. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna cut some like fat from like my love handle and then they're gonna take the stem cells from there and they're gonna inject it to three parts of my knee. So, you see? So here, here, and here on both knees, right? So we're gonna see, man. I would say my left knee probably it's about like 60% and my right knee is probably like 75%. So 60 and 75. And they say they can get them to about 90% on each knee. So it'll be almost as good as, you know, new, which probably make a huge difference in my life. I'll be able to like play ball, work out longer, work out stronger. I mean, work out uh, harder, you know? So we're gonna see, man. I'll give y'all an update when it's done. I know everybody's been asking me how much it costs. It's seven thousand dollars, so hopefully it's money well spent. And uh, it should take about an hour and a half. So I'm driving there now. After the procedure, I'll do another update and let y'all know how it went. All right, y'all. So this is where it's about to be showtime. This is where the shots are going. You could, could kind of see one leg. I have this way bigger than the other because of my. Let's see. One leg's way bigger than the other because this quad start to get all. Uh, because this knee sucks so bad. Alright, we in there now. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then I'll tie the back on the top, sir. Okay, cool. Um, where do they go for blood for you usually? On your... You have easy things. Uh, here, near my bicep. Okay, you can have a seat and then we're gonna put in an IV. At the same time, grab blood. Are you okay with needles? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, okay. Alright, we'll be back after the surgery. <laughs> so they went through the patella, the quadricep, and in the tendons on the side. The left side's gonna hurt way more, and then this one was regular. Are you okay? I'm sideways. Sideways? Okay. No, uh, I'm dragged up. So yeah, it's about two weeks and then post op. Okay, so we started on this hand. We had to switch it over because the oxygen level dropped too low. So we're trying to get the oxygen level to 95. I think I said VP before, but my oxygen. So they're gonna take his blood pressure right now and add more reversal medication to wake him up. So I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> I could walk normally, I think. Did I walk over here? No. <laughs> they placed me in a wheelchair? Mm-hmm. Why did they do that? Because you were out of it. <laughs> Mr. Johnson? Yes. Oh, you're tall. What? You've been in a wheelchair this whole time. Um, before I do that, I'm going to check with doctor, okay? Okay. Yeah. Dr. Rotten. He's talking and more alert. Oh, yeah, I took my shirt off over there. Yeah, mm -hmm. we put your shirt back on, Ooh. probably. I did. You put my shirt off? Mm hmm. <laughs> There'll be more awake, huh? Yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah. All right, you have a great weekend, all right, sir? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Slowly. Because you might get all oh, nauseous.
Okay. What about spicy foods? Is that okay? Yeah, you can eat that. Okay. You gotta turn it all the way sideways. Okay. Alright, so we're done with our procedure. And uh, I don't remember much from it. So, it was cool though. It didn't take too long. I was asleep. Don't remember too much. Now I'm with wheelchair Jimmy. So, <laughs> we'll see what happens and with the recovery and everything. Woo wee. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I got home after the stem cell injection. This is probably eight hours after the injections. And right when I got home, I took a nap. And this is me waking up from the nap eight hours later. So what they did was they laid me on the table and then they put the little tubes on my nose, you know, to knock me out. And that's the last I remember. <laughs> so <laughs> that was the only thing I remember about the whole procedure. So remember they had to cut some fat from my back so they could get the stem cells and then I'm inject them in my knees. So um, I don't remember any of that. I asked, you know, I asked the doc if I was going to feel anything about the procedure. And then he said, he said I would feel when they give me numbing shots in my back. But I didn't feel anything. I didn't wake up from anything. So next thing you know, I was sitting in a room in a wheelchair and that was it. So there was no pain at all. I didn't feel anything at all. I don't remember. I didn't remember anything at all. I just remember I laid down on a table and then they put the thing on my nose and then that was it that was a wrap so uh, when i did get up i was like having a conversation and i had like short-term memory loss i didn't really remember what i was talking about but it's cool so here we are eight hours later and um yeah i'm just chilling in bed i'll show you guys what my little setup looks like so i'm laying in bed my knees are wrapped i gotta keep these wraps on for 24 hours there's some discomfort in my right knee. Remember, my left knee is the one that was at 60%. This was the worst knee. Um, but for some reason, I, I can feel a little discomfort here, like over here in this knee. But um, I don't feel anything in this knee at all, actually. So I woke up from my nap a few minutes ago. I took uh, some painkillers. So this, this little discomfort should go away. In 24 hours, I'll take these wraps off. And, um, yeah, I'm probably going to go back to sleep. It's 10 p.m. now, 9 p.m., 10 p.m. I'm going to go back to sleep. But um, that's my whole strategy is to sleep the whole thing off. So they prescribe, like, you're going to get some, like, Percocets or some type of painkillers. So you'll just go to the pharmacy to pick those up. Um but that, that was it, like, as far as, like, medication or whatever. That's all they give you or that's all they prescribe. Uh, and then you just start the road to recovery. So, yeah, it's, I guess it's supposed to suck the first, you know, day or two. So my plan was just to sleep it off, you know, stay off my feet and just kick back, you know. So, yeah. I'm gonna, Oh, I'm going to show you guys the little incision in my back, too. So that's where they cut into my body to get the um, stem cells. I don't feel anything. I can feel the bandage there, but I don't feel any pain. I can move freely. I don't, there's no issues or anything with that. So, yep, no problem with that at all. So I'm gonna tell y'all why I even got this in the first place, because um, since I was maybe 12 years old, I had Oscar sliders, right? Which is like slightly below your knee. There's a knot below your knee. So I've always had like knee type issues, but Oscar sliders is like from growing pains or whatever. And then when I was about 22 years old, 22, 23 years old, it became my actual knee. So Oscar is right below your knee. It's a knot below your knee. And um, when I was like 22, 23 years old, it actually became my knee. So when I would be playing ball or something, like I noticed my knee would be sore, like, or it'd be hurting or whatever, but just discomforting, but nothing like too, too major. And then two years ago, 
me and my little brother were playing basketball at his school. And afterwards, I just felt like a pain from like my knee. It was like dangling. Like my knee was like, it felt like it was just dangling. And I'm like, like everything that I do, I always felt like, all right, this is going to go away. This is going to go away, you know? So um, we played ball. We probably played seven, eight games of basketball. And my knee was like actually hurting. It just felt like it was just hanging off. And I never did anything about it. Right. I just figured like everything else, this will go away. And um, it never went away. So this is two years ago and uh, it never went away. And I would continue to play ball, continue to do this, do that. And then when I would go to the doctor, they would like say, oh, like, just go get MRIs. And I'll go get MRIs. And I mean, not MRIs, uh, x-rays. I'll go get x-rays and nothing was showing the x-ray. And then when I would go get an MRI, they would never call me back. Like I was getting like the worst treatment ever, you know. So I went and got two MRIs. They never called me back to tell me anything. And then I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to, you know, go try to see what somebody else thinks. So I went to go talk to this doctor. And, um, you know, he showed me, like, everything that was wrong with my knee. And then he was like, yeah, stem cell injections will work for you. Um, he said, like, you don't have to have, like, a major surgery or anything. There's just, like, a lot of, um, there's a lot of tenants that are, that are like, have tears Something else he told me, I don't remember right now. I remember when I feel better, but yeah. He, so he just he, but he showed me everything. And I'm like, damn, this is like the best treatment I've got since I've talked to you about, about my knees. And even when I was in the army, I would tell them about my knees, and they'd just be like, well, stay off of them. Like I'd be like, yo, both my knees are hurting, but one hurts way more than the other. They'd be like, stay off of them. Like that's it. Like they truly just didn't give a fuck. So crazy, man. So. Anyways, when I walk down the stairs, I walk down the stairs sideways, right? Like, I don't go down the stairs like this. I like, boom, 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 boom. That's how I walk down stairs, you know? My little brother does the same thing. So walking upstairs, walking downstairs is painful. But I know that, like, if I'm just not active, you know, like, my knees won't bother me so much. But then it's hard to, like, work out, stay in shape, you know what I mean? Like, keep bad weight off of me. You know, and uh, I'm like, man, I have to be active because like, I got to be active. It's just a part of who I am. I want to play ball. I want to play football. I want to lift weights. I want to do all these things. I want to be active, bro. I'm 29 years old. Like I'm out here like a like a 63 year old. Like I want to be active, you know, and um, yeah, that's why I got it, man. That's why I ended up getting it. So um, we're going to see how the recovery goes. And then uh I'm going to go to physical therapy. The The lady that was recommended to me, she works with all the UFC fighters out here in Vegas. So she's going to help me repair my knee. And then, you know, once I see like, you know, some positive results for this goes well, I'm going to share with you guys exactly where I went, the clinic I went to. You know, I already told you guys the cost. It cost me $7,000. And I'll tell you guys everything as long as, you know, it goes good. I don't want to share the details if it ends up not working out for me. And then everybody else goes and gets the, the same shit that's not going to work. So uh, when it works and I start seeing progress, I'll show you, I'll tell you guys all the like, you know, the details of which doctor was and which, you know, office I went to and all that good stuff. So for now, just going to focus on recovering, man. So that's it. Stay up, y'all.